All right, now uh, you probably noticed this past week, there's been a lot of reality TV lately, but this past week, there was just an orgy of reality TV programming <laughs> that got out of hand. I mean, it got insane. Final episodes of Joe Millionaire, The Bachelorette, plus the Michael Jackson rebuttal special. <laughs> we had the <laughs> Michael Jackson special, then the rebuttal, which sounds funny. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm an ass. And, uh, <laughs> And I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. That's one of the new shows. Yeah, so, uh, so tonight, we thought, let's take a look at all this reality television in a little piece we're calling Fulfilling Our Legal Obligation to Joke About Reality TV. Because <laughs> oh. you have to. It's the law now. You got to. Now, first up, let's talk about the final episode of The Bachelorette, which re-aired last night. For anyone who didn't see it the first night, it re-aired last night. And I was watching it. The show had a uh, surprise ending when Bachelorette Trista chose Ryan, the firefighter and poet from Colorado, over Charlie, the more outgoing financier. <laughs> I personally, I was shocked that she went with Ryan. I was. I mean, take a look at this clip. That guy comes across a little dumb, I think. Just take a look. And you know, something I really personally didn't need to see was the clip of Ryan working off all the sexual frustration. It really bothered me and I thought it was obscene. Take a look. It's just not the kind of thing. Now folks, another new reality. Hey, Conan? Conan, can we please stop talking about reality shows? You know, they're stupid, boring, and frankly, they just disgust me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, but just because you say that, I'm not going to stop the whole show. Cause, cause one Mike, I just can't stomach this reality garbage. I'm leaving, Conan. And so is one of the two women sitting next to me. <laughs> Which will it be? I don't know how to say this, but it's not you. Hi. Will you join me as I leave the studio in a self-righteous huff? Oh, my God. Of course I will. Okay, let's go. That was beautiful. Now it's, uh... It's time to talk about what some people are calling the worst reality show of all time. It's called I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Now, the show is basically Survivor, with such big celebrities as Robin Leach, downtown Julie Brown, <laughs> J-Lo's ex-husband Chris Judd, and the always amazing and talented Melissa Rivers. Now, believe it or not, putting this show together wasn't easy. Here's a tape of I'm a Celebrity's producer trying to book big names for the show. Hi, I'm looking for uh, Tina Yothers from Family Ties. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Uh, how would you like to do a show in the jungle with Bruce Jenner, Robin Lee? Hello? Hi, uh, is this Booger from Revenge of the Nerds? <laughs> oh, Tina, thank you. I'd probably be calling. That's great. Hello? Is this Gerardo who sang Rico Suave? <laughs> Gerardo, here's the pitch. <laughs> Reality show, jungle, George Hamilton's ex-wife. Hello? Hi, uh, is this the guy who blows the big long horn in the Rico cough drop ads? <laughs> Great. How would you like to do a show with Julie Brown? Oh, you would? Uh, no, downtown Julie Brown. Hello? That didn't go well. That was too bad. Because I like that guy from the Rico ads. Now... A lot of viewers were not exactly thrilled with the caliber of celebrity on ABC's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. But no one was as disappointed as the native inhabitants that now have to share their home with these B-list celebrities. Take a look. I don't recognize a single one of these celebrities. 
Oh my god, that is not Melissa Rivers. Please tell me that is not Melissa Rivers. These aren't celebrities. Get them out of here. Come on, Chris Judd, Alana Stewart, who the hell is that? That's not right. That, that's one mad cricket. You see, folks, when it comes to reality shows... Wow! It's UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. Cornet. For three glorious years, the Fox Broadcasting Network has dominated the world of reality television with such classics as Celebrity Boxing and Man vs. Beast. Sadly, that reign has now come to an end. Yes, ABC has taken Fox's festering pile of garbage and literally puked all over it. <laughs> Thanks to ABC's Are You Hot and I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, the torch has been passed to a new generation of crap. Congratulations, ABC. You are now officially worse than Fox. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm due to tape a segment of NBC's Fear Factor, where I eat a rhino scrotum. Good night. He's a good man. He'll show us the way. Well, then, of course, there was the Michael Jackson special. Now, it was supposed to be Jackson's big rebuttal, where he got in his arguments. Instead, we were just introduced to more of the creepy losers and freaks involved in Michael Jackson's sad life, like this guy. I'm Mari Povich. Good. Now, now, the special was called The Michael Jackson Interview, the footage you were never meant to see. And, well, sadly, some people took it literally. Take a look. Whoa, guys, what are you doing? I'm watching that Michael Jackson thing. No, but this is footage we were never meant to see. Turn it off. Relax. No, we're not supposed to see this. We were never meant to. Turn it off, guys. Yeah. You're playing God, people, with footage we were never meant to see. But I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh, oh man, that is a committed guy. Well, anyway, the important thing... Wait, hold on a second. You're doing a comedy bit about footage we were never meant to see. Which means you're laughing at jokes you never should be laughing at because it's about the footage that we shouldn't see and I'll have no part of this. I just wanted to see how he was going to get out of there after that. <laughs> All right, he had no plan on how to get out. <laughs> Finally, though, I have to say, folks, for me, this is me personally, none of these new reality shows hold a candle to a show that aired last year, an amazing show. I still think it's the best reality show ever. It was called Big Survivor. Here's how it worked. The 80s American rock band Survivor was forced to share a house together for 12 weeks while their every move was recorded by over 60 cameras. It was pretty amazing stuff. Here's a few scenes from Big Survivor. Hey, man. Remember when Eye of the Tiger came out? Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Sweet. It was good times, man. Good times. Hey, do you remember this shirt? Weren't you wearing that the day we recorded Eye of the Tiger? Yes, I was. 
Man, that was sweet. <laughs> Certainly was very sweet. Hey, man. You remember when we recorded Eye of the Tiger? Yeah. That was sweet. Man, that was awesome. Totally. It just doesn't get better than that show. It doesn't get better. That's the height of reality TV in my book.